Supreme Air Max 95 Italia, right? In keeping a connection between Supreme family. Supposedly, there's a rumor that Supreme's next sneak collaboration is the Air Max 95 in the similar vein as the Air Max 95 Italia that came out back in the day. If you're familiar with this podcast, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Air Max 95's JP editions, stuff that are specifically made for the Japanese market, stuff that are specifically sold in stores like Atmos. And you would know that those colorways were some of the most legendary some of the most beautiful colorways that you'd ever see very 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 simple uh color combinations maybe no more than three or four colors very cool applications of materials um and then that was also the era when they had the massive bubbles sometimes with the psi markers on the side but then i think after a while people were reporting faults of faulty pairs and bubbles bursting stuff's getting cloudy so uh, nike had to basically reduce the psi um re-engineer them it basically enclosed the bubble a little bit more so that now they don't pop as much as they should do i've always had a dream to kind of maybe you know the mx 95s take a little um blade and essentially like cut the edges of the bubbles around so so we you know similar to like some age people that when they want to get eyelids they kind of slit their thing and kind of push it around maybe maybe slit that kind of thing like an eyelid and take that thing off so you can expose more of the bubble but i'm sure if i did that i'd actually pop one of the bubbles so i don't want to do that um but yeah um drake was drake actually maybe you know, unintentionally leaked images of this new sneaker collaboration with supreme um which interesting because i'm i'm surprised have you is this the first time drake's been given a new pair of sneakers or something new that no one's wearing for supreme I'm, i can't think of anything he's debuted I, I know he's debuted a lot of nike stuff maybe it's come from nike as well yeah maybe it's come from that's all come supreme um because he doesn't really get given supreme stuff really it feels like to debut before you see other people wearing it like the skate team and stuff and other influences but you don't really see him wearing it beforehand um and usually it feels like Supreme just get people to come in beforehand and buy stuff. Maybe at cost value or cost price. I don't know. But yeah, I like the look of it. Um, again, you can't really see much of it here on this picture. But essentially, it's completely leather. Luxury, luxurious Italian leather for the most part. Um, you got no completely leather, no mesh or anything else involved. Um, again, to completely kind of redoing the whole const- const- uh, the usual kind of 95 model where it's got mesh involved in it. But it's got so completely, completely leather, leather upper with a kind of perforated bit at the top here where the mesh would be and it's also got lex- wax leather laces too so again just a entirely leather black shoe if you know anything about me you know i love black trainers so this is going to be way 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 within my um remit of things i want to buy this is news from sneaker news we don't really have a date on them at the moment um it's rumored to come out sometime this year i'm assuming right as part of the collaboration but there's no real idea on what the on what it'll be but w- just imagine but what one thing i can tell you they're going to be expensive um, similar to the HTMs that came out back in the day that use really good leather and croc skin and stuff. These are going to be very pricey. Usually, you know, to manufacture a shoe like this, can, you know, basically consist entirely of luxurious Italian leather is going to cost you an arm and a leg, especially if Supreme decides to go down the route of using, you know, the leather that Bottega Veneta and all these kind of companies use to kind of manufacture their clothing and basically put that as part of the story, as part of the copy. You're going to be, you're going to have to really, really put down your chipping. You're going to have to not use chipping pin and withdraw some money or put that fucking card in the card machine, mate, and enter those four lovely digits. Boom, 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 and press enter and then close your eyes and hope you don't hear, you know, that weird beep sound. Because <laughs> these are going to be expensive. They're not going to be 125 or 130. These are probably going to be 500 pounds and probably plus, I think, um, each. Especially if you consider how much those Tom Sachs um, Mars Yards, the 2.0s, went for. The ones that were kind of with the massive sort of like sock over them. They went for a lot of money. And there was a lot of engine. There was a lot of um, tooling and um, creation that went into making those kind of one-off shoes i'm sure nike's not going to use that mold ever again for another shoe or the those that kind of massive kind of parachute thing so those kind of things always cost the companies a lot more because they have to set up an entire new process to get those things done so don't expect these to be cheap my friends don't expect them to be cheap but yeah they look amazing i'm a big fan of them probably my favorite collaboration so far of the recent years they've not really hit so far have they those nike Dunker speeds that came out or have they come out already with the one with the silver sort of like patent front bit don't look the best um maybe to skate in they look quite cool i think after you've kind of you know um rubbed or fucked up the front of them a bit enough or enough from doing ollies and kick flips and all that malarkey then they should look a bit better look fucked up but if you're a sneakerhead i think the way those sps with a star on the back of them look a bit a little bit naff but i'm a big fan of these they're probably going to come in i'm assuming they're going to come in black red and blue i don't know why i just got a feeling maybe a green as well um so maybe a green and red to kind of ch- ch- um lend to the whole um oh do you remember supreme did that whole kind of fake gucci print that was like green yellow red and orange i think or something so maybe there might be something similar to that so yeah keep an eye out for that when it comes out or if it comes out you never know because this might be a collaboration that you're kind of mulling over 
and then they decide not to do it in the end you never know so keep an eye on it regardless